I'm Dave Hackens. I graduated uh, at the Design Academy in June. And basically, I'm trying to make an idea happen. When I started designing, I always had the back of my mind, I tried to make the world better by making things. And I don't really care what it is, as it's a machine, a concept, a product. As long as it might push the world in a better direction, I'm interested. So at my school, I did some projects. Like, for instance, the above one was a pen that if the pen is finished, you just throw it away. And I thought, what if you could eat it? So I made a pen that you can entirely eat and you have no waste. <laughs> or, uh, that's quick. <laughs> or for instance, an uh, oil press machine that works on wind energy. You can gather local nuts and seeds, you put it in, and you get homemade cold pressed oil, which is usually quite expensive and then it's free. Or from floor made of uh, rubble waste or a soap that can replace chemical liquid soap. I like these things, but they're all just ideas, you know? I put them on my website, and then that's it. So I, I decided when I go graduating, I want to do something more. I really want to make it sort of that it might actually change something. So I looked into e-waste, and that was one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world. And a phone is a big cause of it, because every couple of years you throw away your phone because it's getting old or you, it's broken. So I, I sort of made an idea for a phone that I thought could, might could reduce waste. So I, put, I made a video about it and I put it online. So this is a short cut of the video. Detachable blocks. They are all connected to the base and the base connects everything together. So if, for instance, your phone is getting a little slow, you can just upgrade the block that affects the speed. Or if something breaks, you can easily replace it with a new one or update it with the latest version. Another great thing about this is you can customize your phone. So let's say this is your phone and you do everything in the cloud. Why not replace your storage block for a bigger battery block? If you're like this guy and love to take pictures, why not upgrade your camera? Or if you don't care about any of this stuff, you can keep it simple and get a bigger speaker. This was basically my idea, a phone that you can upgrade and repair to reduce waste. But I know if I want to make this, I'm just one guy at the Design Academy, how on earth could I make a phone? Uh, I need like all these guys helping me, but I, went, I didn't want to go to these companies asking me, hey, do you want to make my ID? I didn't really thought that was going to happen, and I don't like doing that. So I thought, let's do it the other way around. What if I can just show there's a lot of demand for this phone? I think these guys will just start working on it. So the next part of the video was sort of the, the internet campaign behind this project. So this is the plan. To show them there is an interest for this phone, we need your voice. You can donate your social reach on the website. We gather as much people as possible. On the 29th of October, we send out the blast, all at the same time. Spreading all your voices to show the world there is a need for a phone worth keeping. The more people involved, the bigger the impact. That was the idea, just show the world there's a lot of need for this phone, and people start working on it. So you have the site called Thunderclap. It's a bit like Kickstarter. Instead of raising money, you ask for people's vote. So I put it on there. And like within two hours, their website was overloaded. My website was offline in an hour. Within 24 hours, we had like a million views on YouTube. And when I woke up, I had like a thousand Facebook messages. Also, Twitter and mailbox just exploded. From that point on, it just started going all over the world. Every magazine and yeah. So here I am on Dutch national television talking about the ID. Also, a random company in London made this advertisement. I have no idea. Why or how, but they just sent me the picture. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks. With this guy from the Black Eyed Peas who says he likes it. So, th so basically, yeah, th that was it. A lot of people heard about it, they liked it. So in the end of this whole campaign, we had like uh, yeah, over 900,000 supporters. They all sent out a message on the uh, 30 of, uh, 29th of October. So we reached like 380 million people saw the message. A lot of social followers, yellow future views. Um, and we got a lot of emails from companies that just noticed us that instead of, yeah, so they're just aware of this whole phone blocks ID, which was quite cool. I wanted to show the world there's a need for this phone, so done. But it still didn't really, <laughs> it still really didn't felt like, okay, now it, it actually made uh, a change in the world. So of all these companies, I found uh, Motorola, this is me, Motorola, and they were actually uh, pretty interesting because they developed the first uh, mobile phone and they were recently bought, also sold again a couple of weeks ago, to Google. And Google is pretty uh, on top of innovation, so that's nice. And they've been working on a, um, a similar project in their laboratorium, so in their secretly hidden lab, 
called Project Ara. So they asked me to come over. I was interested. They asked me if I wanted to work at Google and start working on their project. It's not really my ambition to work in a phone company. <laughs> I was um, scared that they might take the project into a different direction because I wanted to make a phone that can reduce waste. But what if, if they're going to do a different direction than I'm heading? So it felt like kind of scary to just be there as one guy in a single team because I had all these people behind me. I wanted to keep that. So we made the structure that they just do the technical development of their project. And usually this is done like secretly and they might show it to the public in three years or not. And then Foamlocks has a lot of supporters. So because we had so many supporters, we set up a website where people can share their thoughts and ideas about the project, and we can discuss with Motorola in the open what, what they're making. So basically, Motorola just keeps developing, and they share it on our platform, our online site, and people can share about it, discuss, give feedback on it, and we give the feedback back to uh, the project ARA. So in this way, we get a much more open way of developing something. We get the entire world thinking about it and seeing what's happening instead of just doing it secretly and then show it to the world. And I think this, this part is more exciting for me than the phone itself, to get a, a company that big, more open. I think that's, I don't know, cool. <laughs> so this is our website there where people can, so we have a forum where people can discuss openly. We also have challenges where people can, where we can post answers and people can do specific answers. We ask, uh, what do you think a modular phone should look like? So we got a lot of people just making stuff, showing to us, and then we give the feedback back to Motorola. And yeah, so in the end, I'm still trying to make it happen. And that's where we currently are. That was it. Yeah.